Hey there, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutcast.com. Surprisingly, one of the most suggested topics that I get from my viewers is breast enhancement. People want to know how to enlarge and enhance breasts in Photoshop. I wish I was kidding. So I figured I'd bite the dust, get it over with, and do a tutorial on how to enlarge and enhance breasts. Now this is incredibly awkward considering my dad watches these videos. Hi dad! So anyway, this tutorial is probably not for younger kids, so if you have kids, kick them out of the room, lock the doors, and enjoy this tutorial. But not too much. So let's begin. We're going to start off by enlarging the breasts, and I'm going to be using one of my favorite tools in Photoshop, the Liquify tool. And we can get to this tool by heading up to the top, clicking on Filter, and then clicking on Liquify. This will launch our Liquify dialog box. Now we're only going to be focusing on one tool within the Liquify dialog box, and that is the Bloat tool. So head to the left hand side of your interface and click on the Bloat tool. And I'm going to start off by adjusting my brush setting. So over at the right, I'm going to adjust my brush size to begin with. We're going to start with a pretty big brush. We're going to enlarge the general area, then we'll get a little bit more specific. So I'm going to start with a brush around 400. Now depending on the size of your image, it's probably going to vary a little bit, but I'm looking for something like this. Now the brush density should be pretty high and the brush rate completely up to you. So we're going to start here and just click and hold a few times just to enlarge the general area just like this. And you'll notice they are getting a little bit bigger. And then once that's done, we're going to decrease the brush size and get a little bit more specific sort of to fill them out, so to speak, just like that. And there we go. And once again, we can enlarge it again and do the general area like that. And that's looking pretty good, looking decent. And if you want, you can use the push tool to move them in and all that jazz, but we're going to leave it at this. And we're going to click OK to accept the changes. That's the after, and this is the before. So there's definitely a major difference, but you will notice that it's pushed the hair out a little bit, but that you don't have to worry about. You can always use the history brush tool to fix that up a little bit. So now that we've enlarged the breast and they're looking a lot bigger, we're going to create some depth. And we're going to do that using the burn tool. So heading over to the left, we're going to grab our burn tool, which is right over there. And at the top for the settings, we're going to select midtones. And exposure, I'm going to set somewhere around 20%. Now, if you are on Photoshop CS4, you'll notice that protect tones is checked on. I'm actually going to check it off for this tutorial. And once that's done, we're going to head down to the cleavage area and very simply paint over like this. And you'll notice it's getting a little bit darker, creating a little bit of depth for the breasts. Very, very simple method using the burn tool. Now you can also grab the dodge tool and select midtones, exposure 20% if you want, and just paint in this area here just to give it a little bit more light, again adding a little bit of depth. So that's basically it. You can obviously take the burn tool and burn a little bit more or enlarge them to your liking. It's completely up to you. And here is the before. And here is the after. So there's definitely a very big difference. We've enlarged them. We've created a little bit more depth. They look a lot bigger and more enhanced, which is exactly what people wanted me to teach. So grab a picture of your friends. Grab a picture of your mom. Gra okay, don't do that. That's pretty disgusting. But grab a picture of somebody. Enlarge their breasts. Have fun with it. I hope it works out for you. And until next time, this is Howard from Tutcast.com, not Titcast.com. That was terrible. Anyway, take care.